Man, hey, what's the deal? It's your boy Goldie Box Man coming to you from the garage. Today is January 1st, 2021. Happy New Year to everybody, man. Thank you for rocking with your boy. If you're new to the channel, comment, like, and subscribe. Man, I just want to congratulate everybody for making it to the new year. I know it's been a crazy one. Everybody losing family, so on and so forth, man. And, you know, dealing with these cars and everything like that. But keep pressing, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep pushing, and it'll eventually happen, man. Um, your boy starting out in the garage with the first video of 2021. So, um, if you rock with your boy, I appreciate you. If you don't rock with your boy, I appreciate you. Um... I'm going to keep dropping content, and if you haven't noticed, man, I stay low-key. I ain't out in front, um, and that's how it's going to keep rocking, man. I stay out the way. So, just want y'all to understand that, man. Your boy going to continue to stay out the way, but I'm going to continue working on the box until I get it the way I want to. Suggestions is cool, but ultimately, when you're spending your money, you do what you want to do. Um, and you can take as long as you want to take what everybody else say. Everybody has an opinion, but the opinion don't matter unless it actually works for your for your situation or unless they're gonna actually give you money, man. So your boy stay humble and I stay out the way, man. Um continue man um to uh <coughs> to work on these boxes man continue to take your time there ain't no timeline with these calls so Continue doing work on these boxes, and I'm going to keep bringing y'all content here and there. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, I'm in the garage. I got to clean up before I start working on the box because it looks absolutely like a madhouse in here, man. Um, if you rock with me, you already know I said that my daily driver, which is my Impala, will be paid off in February. Scratch that. God has been good to me, man, and he's doing big things in my life. So, actually, today, I submitted the last payment on the, the Impala. Ahead of two, well, but technically a month ahead of schedule. Um, I was going to pay it off by the end of February, and today is the first, and bam, submitted the payment, so the Impala is paid off. Number two, I told y'all July of this year, 2021, we was gonna pay off my my uh my old lady's car by July. Well, since I done paid that off early, that means that in May her car will be paid off. So that'll be two cars paid off. My old lady car we just reached fifty thousand miles on it last night, and my car I'm still under like forty three thousand forty no more than forty six thousand miles on that car, man. So. I asked my son, he wanted the my Impala. Um, he'll have, he's 13 now, so a couple more years he'll be driving. So he'll get the Impala, and that's why I'm looking for either a truck or an SUV. Um, so I'm really liking the new 2021s. So in a couple of years, we'll see, you know what I'm saying, what it's going to be. Um, I'm going to be off, I'm be up front with you. It's not going to be brand new. Unless they do something about the prices. I can't see spending sixty, seventy thousand on a vehicle. Um, just not gonna happen. Especially not when I'm trying to build a box. But um I moved the the impala out the way. Um about to get in this garage, do some work, clean it up so I can move around, throw the tires, the front tires back onto the box. Um, gold, uh, gold is the color I'm going with the car, so that's the reason of the name, Goldie Box. Um, I got the, the kind of the burgundy-ish red interior in the box. Y'all let me know, should I keep that interior to go with the gold color, or should I go with a different color? Y'all let me know on that, man. Um, but this one, I'm going to kind of let it overrun. Normally my videos are short. But I'm going to just kind of let it run, man, um, just to see, for one, I want to see with the card that I have that I'm recording on, 
um, see how much video I can actually record um, without it actually stopping. That's for one. Um, and two, man, y'all just see, kind of get an idea of what I got going on. So if you watch my last video um, that I posted a few days ago, I think, um, I finally was able to get fans, electric fans. So you go to electric fans, man, finally was able to get that. Um, somebody honking and horn in the neighborhood. Also, third brake light. So I got that covered. I just got to add a piece strip here and then we'll be good on that. Um, so today, what I actually, today what I actually plan on doing um, is I actually want to clean up this garage for one. That's the first thing I want to do. Kind of clean it up so I can move around. Um, and then secondly, what I want to do today is I'm going to kind of clean up some stuff around here, get rid of some boxes, get some stuff off the ground, um, kind of clean up what I'm not using as of right now. Um, I want to car pass a lot. Um, I want to go ahead and see if I can drop the um, panel in that back window so I can get ready and start drilling the holes and mounting up the third brake light. Um, this is a little small stuff, man, that I'm doing this year. The electrical fans, I got the fans. They work. Um, the only problem that I'm, or the only thing that I don't know what's going to happen this year is whether I'm going to do the engine swap um, because I still got to, um, well, I don't know if I'm going to do the engine swap yet and I'm not going to take the mechanical fan off the 305. I still got my 305 in there. It runs fine, don't have no problems. So I'm always to the point to where I don't see no reason to switch out the engine unless I actually have the engine that I want to replace it how I want it to go. You know what I'm saying? Build right, um, run it right, that type of situation. So that being said, um, the electrical fans, I probably put that off just for a little while, um, just because um, today, like I said, is the first, um, tomorrow, Saturday, I really don't have nothing much going on. Today, um, hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping Home Depot is open. Um, I need to go pick some stuff up at Home Depot, and I'm thinking about looking at some of the um, some of the battery operated um, wrenches and stuff, electrical wrenches, um, better battery powered operated wrenches. I notice I'm going to the yard a lot and I'm taking off a lot of stuff, man. And man, I know those those battery operated wrenches they'll cut my time down a whole lot man so I really need it plus um, the big brake kit I don't care about wood wheel it, I really don't care about that so with that being said man um, I came across a Camaro that had front and rear brake calipers brackets the whole nine and I actually been seeing this car in the yard actually for probably a month or two. This car has been in the yard, man, and nobody's touched it. So that being said, plus the yard is literally 50, not even five. I would say probably not even five minutes away, man. So I um, I actually was working on the fans. Those fans came out of a Ford. 
I went two separate times. You know, I'm not a mechanic by trade. I went two separate times, but I was running. I was running short on time, so I was kind of rushing. I was stressing out, uh, stressing a little bit over it because I wanted to get it done. The times that I went, come to find out, Cat Loco. Shout out to Cat Loco. Um, he done a video on it. Um, Cat Loco's garage. So follow him. But I finally figured out there was some bolts under the battery tray. Once I removed that battery tray out, I was able to wiggle that out. Um, get that out. Also, man, if y'all go and y'all pull something from the yard, especially like these uh, fans, get the wires, man. All you got to do is splice, and you'll be good to go. That way you ain't worried about any, um, any electrical uh clamps or anything that goes with the actual wiring of the fans if you decide to go that way. They look pretty good, they just dusty. So I'm gonna I'm eventually rinse them off and all that and clean them up. But uh, that's what it is with me, man. Um, like I said, I just pulled the Impala out. Um, everybody like, yo, that boy out there with the Astros. Yeah, I'm from Houston, man. Um, South Side, Dead End, Crestmont Park to be exact. Um, shout out to everybody on the north side, family out on the north side, northwest side, northeast side, family out in Katy, um, Paraland, Sugarland, um, that's home for me, man. So shout out to anybody on the south side, anybody that went to Sterling, uh, Yates, Jones, Worthing, uh, Sharpstown, Willow Ridge, um, the whole south side, man, and everybody that went out, everybody from the north side, man, if you're from the north side, um, shout out to you, man. Um, but um, I done did enough talking, man. Let me go ahead and get to work, man, start uh, messing with this car um, and messing with this garage, man, so y'all be easy. Thank <laughs> you. 